Hi, this is Donnie bringing our weekly Bible reading devotional. I am broadcasting from my seaside home on the set of the Christian Fellowship School play. Uh, I want to talk to you about Hebrews this week, which we're reading. I wonder if you've ever seen the show Undercover Boss. Uh, it's this, this great little show where the head of the company goes incognito and, and becomes a worker. But the workers don't know it. And, he, and he's there among them. And through the course of the show, he always learns how hard it is to be a worker in his company and what a good job his workers are doing. And he learns about their stories and, and ends up having compassion on them. And that's a great picture of what we see happening in the book of Hebrews. We, we start out in chapter one where, that we read last week, uh, where we learn that the son of God is the heir of all things, the one through whom God created the world. He's the one who upholds all things by the word of his power. In other words, he's the boss. He's in charge. But then the writer of Hebrews says something very interesting. He said, he became like us. This is the beauty of the incarnation where, as the writer of Hebrews says, he was made like his brothers in every respect so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God. And then the writer of Hebrews tells us this, chapter 2, verse 18, because he himself has suffered when tempted, He's able to help those who are being tempted. In other words, the boss has become one of us. And now he knows what it's like and he's able to help us in the midst of our difficulties, our challenges. I love what the writer of Hebrews says uh, in chapter four along these lines. He says, we don't have a high priest who's unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin. In other words, the boss has walked in our shoes. He knows what it's like, and so he sympathizes with us in our weaknesses, in our temptations, in our struggles, in the midst of a broken, fallen world and, and our own hearts that go astray. He sympathizes with us. And so here's what the writer of Hebrews says to do then. Therefore, let us with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. It's so easy to picture God as the boss, the one high and far off from us who's looking down and, and we've got to keep it in line. If we step out of line when the boss is watching, you know, we're in trouble. Shape up, don't make mistakes. If you do, cover them up because the boss is watching. And the writer of Hebrews says just the opposite. No, 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 your boss is your ally. Jesus, the Son of God, who rules over all things, has come and walked in our shoes. And so he's sympathetic towards us. He knows what it's like. And he wants us to come to him in our weaknesses, in our struggles, so that we can receive mercy and find his help, his grace toward us. The boss is our ally now. He's on our side. And so this week, whatever you may face, whatever your weakest, darkest moments may be, let me encourage you, run to him. He is there to help you, to have compassion on you. So run to him. I'll look forward to talking to you more next week. See you then.